Hello. Let me just make sure the volume, everything's okay. As I pot my screen. Okay, I think everything is good. So, uh, welcome to June's Julia Pachulia Sculia, which is uh, all about internal usage of essential oils. So what that means is just uh, ingesting or taking essential oils into your body via mouth. Uh, so we've got a lot to talk about. I've got kind of a little mini cooking show happening. I've got a whole slew of essential oils and, um, and products over here. And of course, we're going to talk a lot about safety. Uh, and um, if you're here on live and you have any questions, uh, just feel free uh, to pop them up anytime while the, vi the video is going. Uh, there is a little bit of delay, so um, just put them up as you think of them. And I'll take a little bit of time at the end uh, and I'll go through if there's any questions and answer them. So that these questions could be about anything actually doesn't have to be about internal usage of essential oils. If there's something you're wondering about, uh, just pop it up there. I've actually got my books over here uh, and uh, you can, uh, I can look it up if I don't know it off the top of my head. Oh, hi, Kathy. <laughs> uh, uh, so I'll just get started, I think. Um, so um, First things first, I want to make sure that I really stress safety when taking essential oils uh, internally. Uh, there's uh, some extra things to keep in mind when you're taking essential oils by mouth, def definitely. Uh, but my first safety point is uh, to be careful about using essential oils safely if you don't know about that particular company's uh, practices. So I'm talking about other essential oils other than doTERRA. Uh, and uh, so um, some other essential oil companies, actually quite a few actually, um, will um, put fillers in their essential oils or maybe cheaper plant materials, so a different plant than you're actually expecting or they might um, make it smell better than it would have by adding synthetic fragrance, uh, which uh, is toxic, so you don't want to be ingesting it. Uh, and so you just want to be careful. doTERRA has amazing testing standards that they've set themselves. It's actually called Certify Pure uh, Testing Grade, and uh, they do so many tests all along the chain from when it's been distilled to right before it goes into uh, um, into the, um, I'll answer that question at the end, Luke, uh, into like right before it goes in the bottle. So um, one thing I want to point you to, and I will put up a whole bunch of links after this video. So if you're watching this live, um, just look up, no, don't look up. There's nothing up there quite yet, but after the video, I'll go back in and put a whole bunch of different links for you to look at. Uh, and one of those links is I'm going to uh, queue up for you is called source2u.com. So this is doTERRA's website. Uh, and um, they go through the whole chain from the plants being grown and harvested up until, um, up until the consumer. Uh, but my favorite part of this website personally is uh, where you can actually look up the tests done on each specific bottle of essential oil. So um, what I'm going to do, if you don't have any doTERRA oils with you, um, I'm going to, along with the link, put the little batch number on my bottle of lemon that I have here on my hand. And you can actually check out, um, type in this number and you can actually see uh, tests that have been done on uh, this specific batch of essential oil. And uh, you'll see the top 50 chemical components and the percentage that they make up. Uh, and. Uh, these are third-party tests as well, so it's not doTERRA's labs that are putting these um, 
this test out. Uh, and also you'll see something at the bottom just verifying that it actually is the essential oil that you're looking for. There's no contaminants, pesticides, or anything additionally in there. It's just the pure essential oil. So um, you really want to actually just be careful when ingesting. Uh, so that being said, not all doTERRA oils are safe to be ingested. Uh, just some of them, that's not the route to go. You want to stick with either aromatic, breathing it in, or applying it to your skin. And doTERRA in a lot of the literature will actually go through and uh, there'll be little circles with either an I for, okay, you can take this internally, or a T for topical, so you can put it on your skin. Or aromatic means that you can smell them. I think well, all of them have the, the little A sticker on there for sure. Uh, but um, let's say you don't have the doTERRA website or any doTERRA literature in front of you and you're not quite sure. I think a really quick, like, quick and dirty way to figure this out uh, is to just think, hey, is it food? Uh, so like lemon, of course. Uh, and there are some other essential oils that are safe to ingest that we wouldn't typically think of as food, but if you don't have any other resources at hand, that's a really great uh, way to figure out if you can ingest it or not. Uh, so uh, there's three different ways that you can use essential oils internally. Uh, so the first one is to put it in your food recipes and eat it with your food and in your drinks uh, or you can put some drops of essential oil in water and drink it, drink it in that way. Uh, and the last way is in capsules so, or a soft gel, so just like a regular old pill with essential oils in it. Uh, now another link I'm going to hook up with you for you guys is um, uh, a web page on doTERRA's website, uh, which has the recommended ideal amounts uh, for um, internal use, which uh, on that chart means taking in a capsule, so like a pill. Uh, oral use is in water. Uh, and then it also goes over topical use as well. Uh, so it has the ideal amount to use at one time and then maximum 24 hours <laughs> amount and it is a range because it does differ a little bit with essential oils uh, so um, for instance in water I don't know this off the top of my head but it might, might say one to three uh, drops in water at a time and then perhaps something like maximum 20 drops in a day but you don't want to do that every day uh, so that's a really handy chart to just bookmark and uh, it's also laid out for adults and children as well, but uh, when we're talking about children, uh, unless uh, we're talking about food recipes, likely uh, we're speaking about older children. Uh, and if they're taking essential oils in a capsule, they'll have to be able to swallow pills. So, um, and also the size of your child's gonna come into account because body size. Uh, I mean, I don't weigh much more than 100 pounds and I take essential oils internally, so you use me as a guide. <laughs> if I can do it, maybe your uh, regular size 11 year old can. <laughs> uh, so let's get on to, oh wait, one more thing. Uh, if you're taking a prescription medication, it's a good idea just to be on the safe side to give yourself a little window on either side of you taking your medication, just in case of any interaction or maybe the essential oil might cause um, your medication to not absorb as well as it might. Uh, so a good window is at least a window of an hour before you take your medication and an hour after you take it as well, just to be on the safe side. Uh, so let's get on to the recipes. So here I just have a whole bunch of cut up apples. And if you've been at one of my classes this year, you're probably gonna guess what I'm gonna make, which is On Guard apples. Uh, so On Guard uh, contains um, wild orange, um, cinnamon, ginger, rosemary, and eucalyptus. I think that's all, and it is safe for ingestion. ingestion. 
Uh, and so um, this is how you can make a really delicious kind of spicy apple uh, snack and uh, the wild orange in it actually stops your apples from going brown uh, or it really, 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 really slows down the process. So um, this is one very large apple cut up. So um, you want to usually do about one or two drops per apple. That's usually good. If uh, you're feeding it to a child, I'd lean more towards uh, one drop per apple. Also depends on the apple size uh, as well. So I'm probably going to do two in here. Three probably would be okay too if that amount came out. So I've got my water pitcher here. So what I like to do, I fill it up some of the way and then I put uh, the on guard in the water kind of off to the side. Oh, I got two drops. Oh, it smells so good. And then I fill it up the rest of the way. And then this way kind of pouring the water in helps to disperse the essential oil. Now you just leave this to sit for about 15 minutes or so and you drain the water off and it's great. Now On Guard as well is uh, the protective blend. So it really, it gives you an immune system boost. Uh, so this is a good way to get a little bit of On Guard into you if you're, you feel like you're fighting something as well or for your children as well. Uh, so let me just move this out of the way. Now let's say I was making a, a cooking recipe and using On Guard. Um, it would still taste like On Guard, but it would probably use some of its therapeutic immune system boosting um, benefits. And uh, that's just because when you heat essential oils by cooking them or baking them, it's going to really alter uh, the chemical composition a little bit. So you're not going to be getting what you actually expect. So, um, so this recipe and the drink recipe that I'm going to make are great because you get the flavor and you also get uh, all the fantastic properties that you're expecting uh, from the essential oil also. So you get the therapeutic oomph as well. So uh, this is a kind of a limeade recipe. Uh, using raspberries and uh, I'll cue, I'll put the link up in the description section. Uh, so what I've previously done is I've made a raspberry syrup and this is half the recipe that you're going to find on the doTERRA web uh, page that I'm going to link up with the recipe. Uh, and I just made half because I wasn't sure if I wanted to commit to the whole recipe. It seemed like it would make a lot. So what's in here, I put in a pot a cup of frozen raspberries. Um, I uh, put a quarter of, of a cup of sugar and half a cup of water and then I just let it simmer away for about five minutes or so. It started bubbling, the raspberries started to break up and uh, then I've got it here. Now uh, I just noticed before I started the video that I did not do one step which is you're supposed to strain the raspberry chunks out uh, and I didn't do that but I think I'm just gonna love my drink with chunks of raspberries in it. It doesn't really matter to me have a little bit more raspberry flavor. So um, I've just poured it in the jar and stuck it in the fridge for a couple of hours so it's cold. And another thing that I have done uh, before starting the video is I juiced uh, one lime. So this uh, recipe features lime essential oil. So you only need about two tablespoons of the raspberry syrup soup thing. And the recipe also doesn't specify glass size, so we'll see how it tastes. So then you put a juice of a lime in, so one lime, and then one or two drops of lime. I'm going to aim for one. Um, you can always add another drop of essential oil in your recipe. 
you can't take it away though. So always be cautious. There. Oh, I did it. Amazing. And then you top it up with uh, some sparkling mineral water. Okay. And then we'll see how it tastes. All right, cheers everyone. Well, that's good. Yeah, I like it with the one drop. It's, uh, it's not too overpowering. Uh, yeah, so I'm having an Essential Oils 101 class at my house in a week on Wednesday. And um, if uh, the weather's nice and the group isn't too, too big, uh, I think I'm gonna have it in my backyard. So uh, if you're thinking of attending, we're gonna have these uh, be really good. All right. I have one more tip uh, for you when using your recipes. And you know what guys, the doTERRA blog, if you're curious about using essential oils with your recipes, um, they have so many amazing recipes on there. I post them in the group all the time, right? So I'll maybe put the link up there as well, just for the general recipes page if you wanna browse around as well. Uh, so my other tip is, uh, let's say you, let me just make a bit of room. Let's say you're using a stronger essential oil like cinnamon or oregano. You're a little bit concerned that one drop might be too much in the recipe you're using. Um, a good tip is just to grab a toothpick, take the toothpick, poke it into the center part of the essential oil, uh, bring it out, and then you dip it in your recipe or your drink, taste it, and then you can also always like dip the other side or dip another toothpick if you feel like you need more, and that's a good way to kind of make things a little bit more in incremental than one drop. All right. This is so good. Totally recommend this, by the way. It's very refreshing. Uh, another way you can take it is in water. So this is actually one of the first things that I tried uh, when I, like two years ago, when I first became a, like a doTERRA wholesale customer, before I started my business, I decided to try drinking uh, lemon essential oil, which came in my kit, in uh, my water. And I have to tell you, that it did not agree with me whatsoever. Uh, I was very turned off by the experience, and so I just didn't do it. And uh, as I became talking, teaching classes, I just told people, you know, try it if uh, you're intrigued and see how you feel, but it doesn't work for me. Uh, and uh, so um, I think it was maybe in March. It was in March. Um, taught a class and I was telling that story and afterwards I was reflecting a bit and I realized it's been almost two years since I last tried it and I'm a lot more used to using essential oils and like having them on my skin and in my body. So I wonder if I'd have a different reaction this time and I tried it in my trusty water bottle that I got in Salt Lake City uh, and um, I loved it and I've been doing it pretty much every day since. So um, my favorite favorite is citrus essential oils. I love especially lemon, grapefruit, and tangerine. Those tend to be my favorites. And uh, with this size of water bottle, I fill it up and one or two drops is a good flavoring. And, uh, and um, it's very invigorating and peppy. It freshens my breath. Uh, and also uh, citrus essential oils have a chemical in them called limonene. So if you go to source to you, as I mentioned before, and enter in uh, the batch number from my bottle of lemon and look at the test results done on this bottle, uh, you'll see that limonene is I think in the ballpark of 63% uh, with this bottle of lemon. Uh, and, um, and so uh, limonene is really beneficial for a lot of different body systems. It's great for 
uh, helping your body detoxify. Uh, it's fantastic for encouraging your body to um, replicate healthy cells that uh, die when they're supposed to die. Uh, and so I'm really interest in, interested in all those benefits. So I've been really loving having just a little bit, uh, one or two drops in a bottle of water every day. It's uh, been like a little treat for me. Another way that people take essential oils in water is maybe like a little shot in like a smaller glass, maybe about the size of this or even smaller. Uh, and uh, you fill it up with water and this is especially good for digestion. So uh, a couple of essential oils that sprang to mind that would be great for this is of course the Zen Gest or Digest Zen uh, Digestive Blend, uh, which is a whole bunch of essential oils together formulated to help with digestion and um, and so one or two drops in a small-ish glass and then chug it uh, and it's a uh, it's a favorite of a couple of people I know who are in this group for uh, calming things down in the digestive system uh, if um, it does taste a little bit like uh, black licorice, there's a uh, fennel in it. So if you're not so into fennel, a couple more that sprang to mind are two herbal teas I would actually, I would turn to as well if my stomach isn't feeling great. So um, one of those is peppermint, one of those is ginger. So one or two drops in a glass and uh, drink it down and that should help to settle everything as well. Um, now we have in capsules this is the last way we can take essential oils internally so you you can get these veggie caps and i'm going to come close to the camera so you can see where is okay can you see them they're all empty and you can actually take them apart like this put essential oils inside <laughs> and then put them back together. Oh, here we go. And take them. So you can do your own concoctions uh, if uh, you would like. And again, just refer to that, um, that ideal amount chart that I'm going to link up uh, in the description section if you're not sure how many to use. But there are a few products here that I really want to recommend and one that I really want that I don't have yet, but I will have soon. <laughs> uh, so this is not a full roster of doTERRA's um, soft gels and different um, essential oil products that you can take internally. These are just some of my favorites, just in the interest of the video not being too long. All right. Uh, so one of these is uh, the Digest Zen soft gels. Uh, so um, these are just pre-made soft gels. Now come a little closer so you can see. Here they are. Has a Digest Zen uh, digestive blend in there. And you would just take one or two of these uh, instead of chugging it in water or putting Digest Zen in a veggie cap. Now, the one that I really want that I don't have is uh, the On Guard Soft Gel. So exactly the same, but with that On Guard Protective Blend that I stuck in the apple dish. Uh, and so uh, this is really fantastic. Actually, it has two more essential oils, two bonus essential oils. So it has got On Guard and Black Pepper and Melissa, which are also very immune boosting. So you get all three of these oils in a little soft gel. So this is something that I definitely want to make sure that I have on hand before the kids go back in school in September and I start doing all those field trips with, you know, the children. <laughs> They'll help me a little bit with uh, not getting sick quite as much. Uh, the other ones are uh, the Tri-Ease uh, Seasonal Blend Soft Gels. So I don't take these all the time, but I do have seasonal allergies. I kind of take these as required. I am, I'm okay with like a low level of seasonal allergies, uh, but if I have been out in a forest and there's like milkweed tufts blowing around or something and I get an extra bad attack, I'll take one or two of these and actually really does help. So what's in here? 
just equal parts uh, peppermint, lemon, and lavender, which if you have those three essential oils, uh, you can also make up your own just by using these empty veggie caps as well. And the last soft gel that I love are the Serenity soft gels. They look a little different. These are for nighttime, <laughs> help you to sleep. Uh, so it doesn't have the Serenity uh, Restful Blend in it, but what it, ha what it has in there is lavender essential oil. And it also has a couple of, a few other um, extracts from plants, uh, like lemon balm, passion flower, uh, and German chamomile. And there's L-theanine in there as well, which is the very relaxing part of tea. And also green tea especially has a lot of L-theanine in there. So imagine, uh, uh, that relaxing effect but without the little bit the caffeine that comes with the tea uh, so um, these really work and when I wake up in the morning I'm feeling pretty good I'm not groggy at all so I uh, love having these and then I have two lozenges here so one is just on guard lozenges. So it just comes in a little package here and it has on guard protective blend in there. Uh, and I love taking this I'm, if I'm fighting a scratchy throat. Uh, it's really soothing as well. So if uh, my throat is a little inflamed, I'm talking and yelling over a giant group of kids at work um, afterwards, these really help. So I actually always carry these around in a bag, uh, in my bag, just in case I need them at work. Uh, and then the other one are the Breathe Respiratory Drops. So we do have an essential oil blend called Breathe in Canada. It's called Easy Air. Uh, but the Easy Air slash Breathe blend is one of those blends that's not actually safe uh, for ingestion. Uh, but um, this has some other essential oils in there. Uh, it has peppermint, eucalyptus, lemon, and cardamom are all really good for helping the resp respiratory system and um, and um, I've, I've taken these when I've had a cold and they really do help to just clear everything out so also recommended all right uh, now all of these internal usage products that I just went over are from the American warehouse. So in Canada, we have a Canadian warehouse that has, at this point, most of doTERRA's essential oils and products, uh, but not all. Uh, so um, Health Canada sort of has to approve things before we can order it from the American warehouse. So it does take a little, or the Canadian warehouse, so it does take a little bit of time. But in the meantime, we can order these products from the American warehouse. Uh, so, um, so if uh, you're making an American order to get things you can't get in the Canadian warehouse, these are some of the things you might want to stock up on. And uh, I just have one last uh, thing to talk about uh, in my description of this uh, little chat. Um, I, I was gonna, I, I told you I was gonna talk about what I've been doing lately um, with Copaiba and frankincense. Um, and um, so I started taking them internally at, in the beginning of April. And I was actually inspired by a customer who had her own just wonderful story about how these two essential oils had helped her. Uh, and um, as someone who ha has, is recovering still from concussions I had a while ago, I thought, you know what, both frankincense and cop copaiba are very supportive of the nervous system, so I'm going to give it a try. So um, I took two drops of each in a capsule and um, I started out taking it at night before bed because they're very relaxing essential oils. So I didn't want to take it in the morning and be drowsy all day. So for a while I only took it at night and it actually does really relax me. Uh, and so um, right away the next day, I was feeling quite a bit more bright-eyed. Um, some people kind of commented that I was, don't take this the wrong way, but you seem to be doing better today than most days. Uh, so for the first couple days, I had a very 
very, very noticeable improvement in my ability to think and speak and just sort of interact with the world. Uh, and um, so for the first couple days, the improvement was like, like this. And then it evened out. <laughs> so currently I'm at the point where um, I don't really notice any difference when I take it, but the nights when I don't take it, like let's say I fall asleep on the couch and then I just crawl up to bed and I don't, don't take these essential oils in between, I really notice. Um, so it's been an interesting journey and uh, what I've been doing for the last two or three weeks is just experimenting also taking it during the day kind of testing it out one drop of each in the morning two drops of each to see how relaxed and um, and uh, do I feel drowsy uh, and it's been pretty okay uh, to take uh, during the day as well and it was sort of a similar story where I saw a very marked improvement and then um, and then you know I'm just good after that so um, frankincense and copaiba are also so beneficial for basically any body system you can imagine they will help that out they're um, just uh, they're amazing essential oils to have on hand uh, and uh, so um, you know just to support better health in general I think this is something I'm gonna keep doing uh, so um, a couple of other things I did notice which is um, which is interesting. Uh, the first thing that I did notice after about a month or so, um, the sort of like the elast elasticity of my skin um, started to improve. Uh, and um, I noticed this uh, after I started taking doTERRA supplements as well. Uh, after about two or three months, I was like, whoa, <laughs> things are a little bit uh, firmer and I don't know more attached to my face not to be gross but uh, my skin is looking really good uh, and but that was like almost two years ago when I started taking doTERRA supplements and I've noticed an improvement in my skin since then as well uh, another thing which I I mean I don't know if this is I don't know if this is a coincidence or it's actually due to what I'm doing, but um, I have a little ganglion cyst right here. Uh, actually, yeah, right here. Uh, and it was quite large and noticeable, um, but um, it's getting smaller. So again, I don't know if this is something my body would be doing anyway, uh, but I, I mean, if you noticed, I had trouble finding it just then. So um, yeah. It's interesting how you would might take an essential oil for one thing and uh, because they can have multiple purposes and uses and benefits for you, you kind of get these wonderful, these wonderful positive side effects, which is great. Um, so um, my last word of advice to you all uh, when using essential oils internally is uh, keep an open mind but also listen to yourself. If uh, this is something you're not sure if you're comfortable with, that's perfectly fine. There's uh, different options like applying it to your skin and using essential oils aromatically that really uh, work for you. Like I said, for about a year and a half, I didn't use essential oils very often internally. Uh, and it's something that I've just become a little bit more comfortable with, I guess, as they became a little bit more comfortable with using the essential oils. Uh, but if you are open to try trying it out, just give it a try once. Uh, be conservative, uh, and um, and then just notice how you feel. Listen to your body. So if you don't have a good reaction, like when I uh, tried lemon in my water for the first time, just don't do it. Figure out another way to do it. You have a lot of different options with essential oils. Uh, and uh, yeah, just be a student of yourself and listen to what your body's saying, uh, just like using essential oils uh, at any time. Uh, so that wraps up uh, everything I have to tell you guys. Uh, so I'm sure, oh, it's been, a, it's been at least 15 minutes, I think, since I 
put the on guard on. So I'd actually drain them out, but it's really good. You really get the cinnamon. Oh, there's clove as well and on guard cinnamon and the clove and a little bit of the orange. It's really tasty. Now, I just saw one question come up, uh, which was from Luke. Uh, and uh, he was wondering about uh, what essential oil companies to avoid. This is a, I didn't answer it right away because it's a really tricky question. There's just, there's so many essential oil companies out there. Um, and uh, as a doTERRA person, I lucked out that one of the first essential oil companies that I tried was a good quality essential oil company with a lot of transparency. Um, and uh, so I really, I think I lucked out in that way. So I don't have a lot of experience using other brands personally. Um, if you're wondering about using essential oil brands, uh, do your research, uh, look at their website. Um, price is another thing to look into so a typical bottle of frankincense like doTERRA's frankincense is about ninety dollars wholesale because it's the pure frankincense best quality resin so the best outcome for your health uh but um i've seen essential oil um frankincense bottles in health food stores that are less than twenty dollars so uh, that likely isn't pure frankincense and is not a good quality of essential oil uh and uh, so that's a marker it's a little bit more difficult to tell with uh lower priced essential oils um yeah, it's a difficult one. I would definitely not purchase your essential oils at Walmart or um, I, I've seen them in hardware stores or Best Buy. <laughs> um, yeah, I would stick to like um, health food stores, uh, but really the, the brand I would recommend is doTERRA. Um, but I decided fairly early on in my business that it wasn't really... Um, good use of my time to spend time learning about other essential oil companies, especially when there's so many of them out there, you know? Um, so I focus on learning the best I can with this company and the essential oils they offer and what the company's up to. And um, so that's sort of how I direct my time. Um, so I didn't answer it right away when I saw your comment in the newsfeed because it's sort of a long and not very helpful uh, answer, maybe. Um, the answer is doTERRA is the only one I know that is, uh, th that is actually um, good. That doesn't mean it's the only good company out there. There are other very high quality essential oil companies. Uh, I do your research and it's like it's the diamond in the rough, you know, you have to search it out. Uh, oh, and you are welcome, Luke. Uh, so I think I'm going to sign off guys, enjoy my nice cool beverage and uh, have a couple of apples and uh, uh, maybe go outside and sit in, uh, in the backyard for a bit. So have a good night everyone.